so, you know, you're stepping into, you know, not only a universe that's been running for over a decade, but, you know, the final season of The Good yeah. Fight. Did that yeah. give you sort of like an added bit of pressure almost feeling that this was going to be like the big ending? I didn't, I didn't know it was going to end. I didn't, I, I tried not to take it personally that it was my fault that the show went into the toilet. Um, um, somewhere along the season, I got a call from um, uh, Robert and Michelle saying that this was going to be the last season. I, I, I'm not sure how many people were taken by surprise by that, but um, I was. Uh, but it was actually presented as a season anyway. So it was just sort of, and, and it was a, a character that's newly introduced to the show. So I didn't have to sort of pretend a whole history with either Christine or anybody else on the show. Um, and it was a lot of one-on-one -on -one scenes and um, somebody, you know, the, the, an, an idea that I'd never um, been involved with before, a guy that, you know, gives people kind of ketamine trips. Um, <laughs> All of it was was seemed like a good idea, and the writing was good, and the, and Christine's terrific. So, you know, what could go wrong? <laughs> Definitely. I mean, yeah, like you said, Everything. you know, um, <laughs> ex yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, Diane Dabbling and hallucinogens has been kind of a recurring theme. You know, she did psilocybin in earlier seasons. Now yeah. she's doing Doctor uh, Bedencourt's treatment. So, what was your like initial reaction when you found out that you would essentially be making Christine Baranski, you know, trip on television? <laughs> Well, I knew that was from the first show, and then we shot a bunch of it out of order. So we shot a bunch, some of it, some of the stuff where she's sort of not hallucinating, but well, yeah, some of the hallucinations too. Um, first, and then, which was helpful because then I, I kind of figured out who the character was in reverse. Um, we both got to figure out the relationship. So um, I thought it was a great idea, um, and I think it. I mean, I'd like to. I, I've never tried tried that. I, it makes sense. You know, you have some issues that 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 aren't getting any better through conventional therapy and 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 that you know, PTSD or anxiety or depression, whatever it is. And it seems like a a, a worthy idea. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of speaks to like the themes of the season in the sense that there's like this looming violence, the political <laughs> violence, you know, Christine is, or Diane, excuse me, is using this to kind of cope with that. And so I feel like it really yeah. kind of speaks to the larger issue of, you know, going on in the nation where it's like the political moment is crazy and people just want to numb themselves. Well, yeah. I, at one point I tell her to stop doom scrolling and to, and to basically, which is, you know, the news isn't, very good um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So it seems like it would make sense to maybe change up the perspective or, or, or at least turn, that, turn down the volume now and then, you know, concentrate on something else. Definitely, um, yeah. Just seems like good advice, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, uh, that's all I've got today. Thank you so much for your time. It was, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Likewise, thank you.